You may have noticed it is incredibly hard to buy any of the DJI products in the US. This is something that's been happening for a few months and frankly, things are not getting better. In the last few days, you may have noticed several DJI KOLs or creators have produced videos telling you the truth of what is going on. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you anything they've said is wrong or they're lying, but what I am going to say is DJI are trying to push a narrative through their KOL network. They're trying to get a message out. That message may be in many cases true, but it isn't the whole story. What I'm going to do today is tell you exactly what the situation is, why you cannot buy DJI products right now because they are not banned, but also why there is a very real potential ban coming at the end of the year. But I'm going to tell it from my perspective because I am not linked to DJI. I don't really give a f about DJI as a company. All I care about is the products and how they behave towards consumers. And this video is my completely unbiased overview of the situation today, not being promoted by DJI or anyone else. Okay, just to explain the situation as it is today, because you may have found you cannot find many of the DJI products available to buy in the US. There is no ban on DJI products being sold in the USA at this moment in time. DJI are free to sell their products in the USA without any restrictions at all. Nothing has changed with regards to DJI being able to sell their products in the US. There is, though, a lack of stock of product, and that is because there are restrictions of DJI products being brought into the US. That doesn't mean they can't sell them. It just means they can't get them through the ports to be able to be sold in the first place. There is also a secondary situation at play where DJI is facing an audit where they may be added to a ban, but that hasn't happened yet. The basics are we have two completely separate situations at play happening at the same time. One is an audit of DJI as a business that may lead to a potential ban, but that has no effect on DJI today. You have a, then a second situation where DJI products are being held at ports that are preventing them being imported. Thus, there's no stock available to buy. Whilst you may think that DJI are banned, the reality is they're not. They just can't get their products into the US to be able to sell them. This import issue is also what is causing the problems with people having warranty repairs on their products, because regardless of if it's a product sold by DJI into DJI US or it's a consumer having their product returned from warranty repair, DJI's products are being held at ports. And this is why DJI have pretty much removed all stock of their products. And in fact, they haven't even launched their latest products in the US yet, products such as the Mavic 4 or the new Osmo 360. As for why DJI can't import products, well, this is related to the US Customs and Border Protection Agency citing the Uyghur Forced Labor Protection Act as the reason for preventing imports. Rightly or wrongly, DJI has been linked to the mistreatment of the Uyghur population. DJI have a Viewpoints blog post or propaganda, depending on which side of the fence you sit on, with regards to their response to this situation. For instance, if we scroll down, you can see that they state the US Customs and Border Protection has cited the Uyghur Forced Labour Prevention Act as the reason for current holdups. DJI go on to state their reply with their facts around the situation, which is DJI say they do not manufacture anything whole or in part in that region. They have no manufacturing facilities there, nor do they source materials from there. DJI go on to talk about merchandise imported by entities identified. DJI is not listed under the UFLPA, and they go on to talk about everything else regarding it. Regardless of that, this is the reason you cannot buy DJI products in the US right now. It's not that they're banned, it's that they simply cannot get them through customs to get them into the country in the first place. What's interesting about this is basically this seems to have been done under the table. There is no 
official documentation around this. There is no official restriction or even documentation linking DJI to anything to do with this Uyghur Protection Act. It's simply that the Border Control Agency is using this as an excuse to stop DJI products entering the US market. The next problem this is causing is for consumers directly because this issue is actually why DJI isn't able to provide service as well because users who need to ship their products to DJI to repair are not able to get them re-imported back into the US and where they are able to get them re-imported we then have the tariff situation kicking in which we will talk about in a minute. This and this alone is the main reason you can't get your DJI products in the US right now. It has nothing to do with the secondary situation that is taking place with regards to the audit, which we will talk about in a minute. It is simply the fact that the products are being held as a result of links with the Uyghur situation. Now, as I mentioned, there is also the tariff situation that comes into this as well. However, tariffs are not the reason you can't buy the DJI products. Tariffs are not affecting the import. They are not causing the whole stop. However, they do have an effect and mostly that effect is actually hitting existing consumers who are being hit with large bills trying to bring their products back into the US after warranty repairs. Obviously, the tariffs will still have an effect on the pricing of DJI products in the US, but that isn't the reason alone for the limit. It is the fact that DJI can't get them through customs. Now, unfortunately for DJI, that isn't where their problems end because there are bigger issues on the horizon. And that is, if DJI hasn't passed an audit by the end of 2025, their products could be banned from the US market altogether. This problem for DJI is a big one and it's coming at them from multiple different angles. We have a new executive order from the President of the United States and we also have the US Defense Act last year that requires DJI to be audited. Now, the first of the two things in this started off last year, and it was the fact that the US defense bill required that surveillance and video equipment from DJI and Autel Robotics be audited to see if they pose an unacceptable risk to US national security. This bill was signed into force on December the 23rd, 2024, and it requires both DJI and Autel to be audited within one year. If DJI either do not get audited or fail the audit, they will automatically be added to the FCC coveted list, which means they will be banned from sale within the US market. DJI products will not allowed to be sold in the US market while they exist on that coveted list. Now, this is actually different to the restrictions DJI is facing today. DJI isn't banned. The situation with imports being held due to the Uyghur situation isn't even official in the sense of there's no official act. It is just a restriction that is being used to prevent the import. This would be a complete ban on DJI products based on the FCC coveted list. Unfortunately for DJI, this isn't where their problems end because alongside this defense bill issue, they also have the new executive orders that have been signed by the US president in June to create a coveted foreign entities list specifically around Chinese made drones. The basics are DJI are getting it from all angles. Their major problem right now is that if they don't get audited by the end of 2025, they will end up on the FCC ban list. But there's also a second list that has been created as well that they could end up on anyways. Now, again, DJI have put out another Viewpoints blog post on this situation propaganda, depending on which side of the fence you're on, talking about the situation and the effects a ban would have on DJI products. And this takes us right up until today. And the reason why you're seeing videos and posts from DJI creators, the basics are DJI is being ignored by the US government. DJI 
can't even get the US government to talk to them, let alone audit them. As part of this new requirement from the US Defense Act, DJI needs to be audited by an authorized government agency, but DJI can't even get a government agency to talk to them. Articles started circulating from the likes of Bloomberg and others talking about the fact that DJI's representatives in the US can't even get anyone to talk to them, let alone figure out how to get DJI audited. Right now, DJI is basically being ignored by the US government, and if that continues, DJI will automatically be banned at the end of 2025. And this is why you are suddenly seeing the videos appear from the DJI creators, their KOLs, and also online articles. I am not one of them. I'm making this video to show you what the situation is, including highlight the message that DJI is trying to put out through their KOLs. I'm not saying anything those KOLs are saying is wrong, but if you're wondering why you're being told to talk to your government, talk to your local senators, it is because DJI are trying to get their KOLs to get the message out to say, hey, you need to do something about this because frankly, if nothing changes, they are done for. One last thing I want to talk about on all of this government stuff is lobbying and some of the messaging that is being pushed by some of the KOLs. There is a number of people pushing the message around that all of this is being caused by anti-DJI lobbying. Nasty Skydio has been lobbying against DJI. It's all of their fault. Skydio is evil. These groups of people who've got together to go against DJI is evil. Don't fall for the bait. DJI is in this situation because they have caused it. And in fact, DJI have been one of the biggest lobbyists of the US government, period. DJI have benefited enormously from lobbying, so they can't then complain when others have lobbied against them. Lobbying, I'm not getting into in itself, is a mess, but the reality is DJI is in this situation through their own fault entirely. They had the opportunity years ago to head off these problems. DJI introduced things like NFCs, local data mode, all of this stuff to try and get past the problems. But the truth is they were simply trying to throw a bone to delay the inevitable. DJI should have years ago opened up US manufacturing for US based enterprise drones with customized US software. And if they had done this, they would never have had the issues they had today. Instead, DJI's behavior of refusing to open up anything for anyone to really look at has what has caused this situation. They have had their apps audited several times by companies that they have paid to do it, but that is not opening up their software. They have caused this through their refusal to cooperate in the US in a way they could have. Regardless of the consumer side, ignore the consumer side of things. In the enterprise side, if they'd have done a US proper manufacturing with dedicated software for the US government that could have been audited, they would have been fine. But instead, DJI refused. Everything must come from China. DJI's complete autonomy and control over their products, even to the point of having activation on their products, on their enterprise products, has what has caused this. It has been their lack of openness with regards to the use of enterprise products that has got them here, and they have themselves to blame. The consumer side of things isn't the problem. It has always been their enterprise products and their refusal to cooperate in the US in such a way that would be open and transparent. When I worked with DJI, I saw this myself. Everything has to come from China. Everything went through China. Their refusal to cooperate outside of China with any form of real in-depth support or look into their product is what got them here. They lost some amazing people over the years in their enterprise division that were trying to get DJI to cooperate more. And in the end, it is that lack of cooperation that got them to where they are today. Okay, so to share with you my personal thoughts on the situation, and I'm gonna be honest, I think DJI are fucked and I don't see that changing anytime soon. But we do have two different situations at play. Today's problem with supply is as a result of DJI's import issues 
as a result of being linked to the Uyghur situation. I've personally seen no evidence of DJ having any links to the atrocities or anything to do with that. It's clear, though, that is being used as an excuse to block the import of DJI products. There was talk of this changing in August, but I have seen no evidence of that taking place. In fact, it's my personal belief that that will be used to string it out to the end of the year until the point of DJI actually gets banned. And yes, I actually think they may be banned. As for the improvement on the current supply, they're not banned, but they can't really get anything in. And I think that's going to continue. And I wish I had better news. And I hope I'm wrong on this. I genuinely do. But the fact is, I've seen no evidence of this improving. And until it does, the reality is, I think the status quo will remain. And they will continue to use these allegations against them to buy time to the end of 2025. As for will DJI get banned, I am pretty much convinced the answer to that is yes. And the reason for that is actually quite simple. That defence bill required that DJI is audited and passes an audit before the end of 2025. It is either passes an audit or they get banned. Right now, DJI can't even get the US government to talk to them. Basically, the US government doesn't even need to fail DJI in an audit. They simply need to ignore the doorbell. They simply need to go, sorry, we haven't got time to do it. And DJI will automatically be banned. They don't even have to put them through an audit process and make excuses because they can simply ignore them and the ban will automatically happen at the end of 2025. And that, I think, is what will happen. I don't think DJI will get the audit in the first place. I think they will be ignored and the ban will take place. I hope it doesn't happen. I genuinely don't believe DJI should be banned from any market. I think they make great products. They are at times a shitty company and they are at times a company whose behaviour really does leave a lot to be desired, but they also make the best drones in the world. They make some of the best products in the world. And whilst DJI behave at times like a shitty company, there are lots of companies that behave shitty. That isn't the reason I personally believe DJI should be banned. And in fact, I don't believe they should be banned. I think DJI make great products, shitty company at times, but I don't think that they should be restricted. But what I think doesn't matter, and the reality is, with the current financial climate, with the current political climate, I think it's going to be very, very simple to just ignore DJI and let the ban happen. I wish I had better news. Um, I wish I could sit here and say to you, run out and talk to your senator and it'll make all the difference. I think a boulder was pushed off a hill a year ago. And that boulder is coming towards the bottom of the hill now. And the end result of that is it's going to smash through DJI and they're going to be left with a ban in place. I hope the availability of products improves, but I think it's much easier to keep stringing this along towards the end of the year now. It's only a few months. And really, we are in very, very uncharted waters. And if this does happen, the drone industry as we know it today is going to change dramatically and not just in FPV, but in consumer drones and everything. But that doesn't mean you won't be able to buy products. It doesn't mean that you wouldn't be able to import them yourself. But again, it is going to make getting DJI products a lot harder than it has before. I hope you have found this video interesting. If you have, I really just want to say a big thank you for spending time watching me. And if you'd like to support the channel, please consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buying me a coffee. I want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. We would not be able to keep making content on this channel without your support. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making completely unbiased content, please do check it out. Anyway, I hope you have found it informative. Let me know what you think down below. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.